describes a little bit more in detail the operation and maintenance of the Simpson 4200 4.0 gallon per minute pressure washer. Now the pressure washer behind me is the Simpson 4200 and the purpose of the pressure washer is to translate ordinary garden pressure to a high pressure that goes to our pressure washing gun that we can use to clean or maintain some type of surface. So the thing to consider on these machines is first of all you have a motor and in this case the Simpson 4200 has a Honda uh, GX390 uh, motor in it. It's got a 1.6 gallon gas tank which is a little bit more than a, a half, one and a half gallons of gas in it and it's got a uh, pump here and the pump is made by a company called Comet which is pretty well known in the pump industry. So what we're going to do now is set up this pressure washer for operation. The first thing we're going to want to do is to uh, hook up our garden hose to it. Now before we just go plug our garden hose into this machine, what we really want to do is we want to bleed all the air out of this uh, line because if you have 25 uh, 50 feet of garden hose. You've got a lot of air in here. The last thing we want to do is put a bunch of air into the pump. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over there and uh, turn on the water and we're going to flush out the air. Once we flush all the air to get the air out, then I'm going to connect up the uh, garden hose to the pressure washer. So here we go. I'm trying to get some of the air out of the line. And it looks pretty good. I use this hose regularly, so there's not a lot of air in it right now. So I'm going to go over there and turn the, uh, the water pressure off and then hook it up. So now that we've gotten the air out of the line, the water line, what we can do, do now is just uh, um, attach the garden hose to the pressure washer. And in order to do that, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a wrench to tighten this locking nut on it so it doesn't leak. Now um, you can only get them so tight and a lot of times they're going to leak uh, but we try to get it as tight as we can anyway. So the, where this hose is going to go is it's going to go into the bottom uh, connection here and it's got a locking nut which I'm going to twist up like this and we're going to try to get it as tight as we can here on it. There we go. And let's use our wrench, use our wrench to tighten it up really good. There we go. There you go. That'll work. Now a lot of times, uh, a lot of times a good quality hose will have a nut on there. And what I can do then is I can use a pipe wrench or another uh, crescent wrench or wrench just to back it up so I can get it even tighter. But for this case, I'm just going to do it hand tight like this. So now that we've got water going to the uh, pump, the next thing we need to do is to uh, connect our high pressure hose line so that we can distribute the water out of the pump. So these high pressure uh, hose lines uh, come with these machines. They usually ship with 50 feet and we have more of it if you need it. Uh, but they ship with a 3 inch plug on one side and a uh, female quick connect on the other side. This connect, quick connect is going to go to the gun, and the plug is going to go into the pressure washer. Inserting the high pressure hose line is relatively straightforward on these machines because it's got a, a 3 inch plug here and a quick connect, a spring loaded quick connect on the machine. Now, all you got to do is pull back the spring loaded uh, cover here, insert the plug and make sure that the, the locking component is fully locked because the last thing you want to do is turn this thing on not have it seated well and for the thing to blow apart which I've had done it's pretty scary because it's dangerous. So now that we've got our input water line going out, we've got our high pressure hose line going out, what we need to do now is we need to select a, uh, a uh, gun to use. Now we can either use our 15 degree wide uh, trigger gun like this and if we did that, we would just take our uh, spring-loaded female quick connect and put on the 3 inch plug like that, make sure it's tight, and we're ready to go. The other thing we could do is we could put it onto our zero-degree gun. This has a zero-degree blast head. We could do the same thing here. Or we could even put it onto the factory-shipped uh, gun, which is this one here. 
Notice that's a lot longer and it's got a uh, quick connect on this side. If you're going to use this, which we don't recommend you do because it's one more thing to deal with, this quick connect, is what you would do is take the quarter inch plug, put it on your head, and uh, put it on like this. Now what you want to do is when you're operating these heads, you want to make sure that the media input is going through the top. Now because this quick connect is going to fall around like this, slip around, what you want to do is use a twist tie or do anything you can to keep this head in the upright position like this. Um, so if you operate it this way, be sure and do that. So now that we've got our uh, water hooked up, our water hookup ready, now what we're ready to do is to start the engine and to get this system going.